Hi everyone, today I will introduce our work about automated RP diagnostic system based on comparisons and unit segmentation. Retinopathy of prematurity RP is a retina disease affecting prematurely born babies, and is also a leading cause of childhood blindness all over the world. However, most cases of blindness from RP are avoidable with early diagnosis. So, an automated RLP diagnostic system can increase the chance of patients receiving proper diagnosis. RLP has three classes. Normal represents healthy and PLUS means diseased. Pre-PLUS is a middle class in between. The diagnosis of RLP relates to vessel to torsity and dilation. For example, in the left image, a healthy retina has straight and thin vessels. In contrast, in the red image, vessels in diseased ones are more curvy and thicker. When present one RLP image to multiple experts, experts may give different class labels. However, when present two images to, to different doctors and ask them which one is more severe, doctors agree more on these comparison labels. So, previous studies show that training on a model using both class and comparison labels attain excellent performances. The pipeline of building an automated RLP diagnostic system is as follows. First, in segmentation, we convert colored RLP image to binary vessel masks. Second, we use extract, we extract the vessel to torsity and dilation related features. Finally, we use a classifier to give a diagnostic decision. So the quality of segmentation plays an important role. An original image is present on the upper left corner. The corresponding manual segmentation is provided on the upper right side, which can be considered as a ground truth in segmentation. Using manual segmentation, we can obtain good results, but the process is not fully automated and such manual segmentations are much more expensive than an automated segmentation. In, in a previous RLP study, as shown in the left lower corner, a filter-based method can automatically generate segmentations. However, compared to manual segmentations, this filter-based segmentation has more noise. Recent work show that with deep learning techniques, Unit segmentation contains less noisy and is very similar to manual segmentation. We mainly face two challenges in building automated RLP diagnostic tools. The first one is that filter-based method causes an approximately 10% decrease in prediction accuracy compared to manual segmentation. Second is that since the features extracted are highly related to vessel to torsity, and the dilations, directly using deep learning models as classifiers might lose interpretability. In this work, we make the following contributions. First, we obtain a fully automated model that learns from both class and comparison labels, and our model does not sacrifice any prediction accuracy compared to using manual segmented images. Second, we show that by replacing the filter-based masks with unit masks, our model can even outperform the model using manually segmented masks in predicting different label types. Finally, our model is shallow and is trained on highly interpretable features. We first generate unit segmentations for RLP images. To do so, in the first step, we generate 48 by 48 patches from RLP images. Second, we augment the dataset with rotation and flips. Then we random sample augmented set so that the number of patches from each class equals. Finally, we train a unit model using manual segmentation as ground truth. We consider n images in our dataset. Each image is associated with a d-dimensional feature vector xi. There are E experts labeling the dataset with index small e. A class label set DA contains images with index I, expert E, who labels the image, and the class label YIE indicates the image I is diseased or not. A comparison label set D 
DC contains pairs of images ij, and the comparison label yije equals plus 1 means i is more severe than j given by expert E. Given both class label set and comparison set, our model equals to minimize this loss function. Basically, we use logistic model uh, for class labels. Also, the comparison label set can be considered as another logistic model. We introduce a, a parameter alpha to leverage the weight between class labels and comparison labels. Our dataset contains 100 images, and each image has 156 features. We have 13 experts provide class labels, so we have uh, 1,300 class labels in total. Also, five experts provide comparison labels. So we have around 30,000 comparison labels. We also generate a reference standard diagnostic RSD labels as the ground truth for each image. Such RSD labels consider both a clinical diagnosis produced by a physician who saw the real patient, and also the decision of three experts who see the RP images. The left image shows the different segmentation results in class label prediction. We can find that filter-based segmentation performs the worst because it has a lot of noise in segmentations. The UNET segmentation has similar performance to the manual segmentation. On the uh, right-hand side, the image shows our result in predicting comparison labels. So similarly, filter-based segmentation still performs worst. This time, UNET segmentation is uh, better than manual segmentation, even though our UNET model is trained on manual segmentations. This happens because manual segmentation, which is generated by humans, can still count the noise, and our UNET model can capture the noise and produce a better result. Here is our result in predicting the ground truth RSD labels. We find similar of these the regions here, but this time, even when the manual segmentation can produce an AUC very close to 1, the UNAN segmentation can still perform better than the manual ones. We'll also compare our model with our other ROP systems. The first two methods are shallow models. The second one uses filter-based method, has a roughly 7% decrease compared to the first one, which uses manual segmentations. The last three models are deep models, and they can achieve very high AOC. But since they use deep models, they are much harder to interpret important features. In our work, we can attain similar AOC compared to deep models, but our model uses a shallow classifier, so we can have the feature interpreter abilities. In conclusion, we extend the, our previous work by replacing manual segmentations with unit segmentations. Our experimental results show that in many cases, features using unit segmentation outperforms manual segmented features. Compared to other neural network models, our model achieves almost the same AOC while maintaining the interpretability of RLP features. Thanks for listening. Please take a look of our paper automated RLP diagnostic system based on comparisons and the unit segmentation. Thank you.